Welcome to Transformation Fighting Arts Online. I'm Sifu Marcus Levmore. Today we're going to go over some intermediate um, slipping techniques. Um, I would go over the parry first, but slipping is much more important because it's important to keep your head out of the way. You know the first rule of martial arts is duck. So that's really what I'm going to be teaching you. But it's a lot simpler than most people think because most people think the slip is like this or like that. That there is actually lots of um, side to side or horizontal motion. But there's a lot less horizontal motion than you think. Actually the slip is just your straight mechanics except with a little bit more bob of your head. So once you get that you'll understand that your slip is an opportunity for you to hit your opponent. It is not an opportunity for you to get away. So remember, you're not moving back, you're moving forward. It's an opportunity to hit. All of your defensive techniques work out that way, okay? So, Tennyson, we come in here, please? So, what Tennyson is going to do, he's going to be uh, just throwing a, a very slow straight punch so you understand the maneuver of the slip. And I'm going to be slipping to this side away from the camera and I'm going to be throwing my straight hand, okay? So, this is what's going to go on. This slip, right, this slip to the outside or to your left is just like your straight punch, okay? So, if my straight punch was doing this, that rotation of your straight punch happens. And the big issue, I want to get Tennyson's hand to end up over my shoulder and right behind my ear. So, if when Tennyson punches in real slow-mo, right, I'm gonna extend, and you see how my shoulder, this is my straight punch technique. It's my straight punch, except I'm gonna lean just a little bit to make sure I get out of the way. The punch can happen here, or the punch can happen here, or the punch can happen here, right? Here, here, right? It doesn't really matter. Realistically, all you have to do is get that rotation and get him over the shoulder. What I do not do is when he punches, is do this. You see all the, all the gap that's here? You don't want that. You want him right over the shoulder. Bang, right? One more time, right? Bang. Now, if you can get that, if you can get your head out of the way, keep your eye on the target, rotate, stay over your center, right? Okay? Hitting him here, wherever you want to hit him, but you need this rotation. Remember in my power generation concepts, that rotation, right? Hitting, and then we're coming back. Remember, if you don't rotate that hip, you're not going to generate any power. It is the same as your straight punch. One more time. He hits. Bang, right? Okay? We're gonna we're gonna put it right like just like right here. Okay. And same kind of thing. He hits, bang, right? Hit, bang. Okay? Run right there, and we're gonna do it over here too. Okay. We're just gonna change places just so you guys get a good picture of it. See? And he hits, bang, you see? You keep your hands up, everything just like that. See how he's over my shoulder, going right down, or I could hit here, or I could hit up through here. Do you understand? This is when he throws. See where I'm at? And see the turn in my shoulder? That's the inside slip, okay? Remember, it's about hitting him. We're not, bet we're not going back here. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're going forward. It's an opportunity to hit him, okay? It's an opportunity to hit him. Let's turn around one more time. Right. So now, we're gonna do the other slip. The slip to, towards the camera, right? So, he's doing that same shot. He's just throwing that straight punch. This gets a little bit more hairy because, especially because he's a lefty, you're, he's coming right there, but the slip is just your cross maneuver. See how I'm throwing this cross? Bang, bang, I'm throwing this cross. So I hit him here, or I hit him here. But see how I'm rotating towards the cross? And it's the same position. I'm putting him on my shoulder. Keep your hand up. So one more time, right? Bang, right? It's the same thing. Bang. And remember, these motions are vectoring. They're in the V vector, right? So you're not going straight in and turning. You're going that way or you're going that way. When he hits, bang. See that? That's what you do. Once again, an opportunity for you to hit him while he's hitting you. It's all going forward. Remember the hip rotation. We're gonna move you over here one more time. And 
Once again, right, when he throws, boom, right? Keep your hand up. See? All that kind of stuff. That's it. Thank you, Tennyson. Um, so, remember, when you're throwing this, these look just like your straight and cross maneuvers, except your head moves just a little bit more to the side to let his hand come through, right? But all your energy is going forward, forward. Now, I highly recommend do not use your hands to parry his arm yet until you are absolutely confident you can get your head out of the way. Once you do that, then start using the hand because what tends to happen is people become too dependent on their hands and their timing gets upset and then they miss the shot but then their head stays still. If your head is always out of the way, it doesn't matter if your blocking timing is wrong, right, or whatever, there's nothing to hit. First rule of martial arts, duck. So, um, if you have any questions, go to Transformational Fighting Arts online, leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Understand all of this free uh, material is only possible by your donation. So please, donate something, anything. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Sifu Marcus Lovemore. This is Transformational Fighting Arts Online. Remember, it's not about knowing it, it's about living it. Thanks.